What's up, plane crash survivors? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Forest. Um, this is episode two of the new update, and um, I got a rhetorical question for you. All right, who's got two thumbs and needs 180 logs? This guy. Check it out. Check it out. I've been doing a lot of building here. I've got my main platform down, which is going to be my deck and my house, and um, I need 180 logs for it. So let's uh, let's get on over there and show you what we've been up to, what I've been up to. Um, I did a lot of grinding off camera, probably about you know 30 to 45 minutes worth of grinding, and um, I got a bunch of fires down out here. Um, I also want to tell you these leaves right here are really irritating, and you they hide the logs, they get in the way. Um, you can't even see right here. But I have a log sled, you know, and like the, the leaves kind of cover it. At one point, I actually lost my log sled and I was going to make a new one because I didn't know where it was. Uh, you know, so it, these leaves suck. The problem with cutting down these leaves is every time I restart the game, um, they come back. Although, I don't... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I like completely close down the game and come back, they come... Oh, look at that. Every time I completely close down the game and come back, these leaves are usually back. Although, I don't know. I don't know for sure. I just feel like that's the way it's going to go. Anywho, um, oh, I see like these sticks right here. These things grow back. It's okay though. I actually need sticks, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Anyway, um, so you can see right here, I did finish my treehouse in between videos. And um, I'm going to come on up here and show you. And I, I also did stuff over there, but I'm going to show you this right now. Uh, I actually got a little bit of a, of a ramp here. And what I'm hoping is I can push the log sled up this ramp, come around the corner, and just go all the way down here to my building platform. That's gonna be my main building platform. Along this side of the building platform is gonna be a deck, all right? Because it's really nice in front of the waterfall and everything. Um, yeah, that would probably be the best place for the deck. And then uh, in more is going to be my house, and this is gonna be my house. So this is the setup. I think it's gonna be uh, very safe from the cannibals, and I really like it, so. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of building over the next few videos, but for this video, we actually are gonna go for a supply run because I need supplies, so, uh, yeah, let's get going. Did I ever mark off the cannibal camp that I usually go to? I, I don't even know if I've gone to it yet. Maybe we'll just kind of wander around a little bit more aimlessly. I don't have my, I don't have my map open on the other screen today. Um, I probably won't use that map for, like, a while because, uh, well, maybe I should have today, but I kind of know where I'm going, and if we get lost, it's not that big of a deal. We'll, uh, we'll find our way around. Oh, you know what we don't have? We don't have a marker. We do have these little hammers, that signify, you know, things we need to build, but I don't know if how if you can see those from very far away. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put down a stick marker. And we just kinda want this out of the way up here somewhere. And we're gonna need some rocks for that. It kinda sucks you can only carry two uh, five rocks at a time. Cause uh, you know, I always need rocks and I never have them because I can only carry five and every time I make something, it usually takes most of them. So, but I can understand why though, because it's a you know it's a freaking it's a freaking set of rocks, of course. We will have that little light blue teal thing um, as our base, home, and marker. Sorry, I'm I'm distracted because I had to I had to throw my phone on the uh, the seat behind me because anytime it vibrates, you can hear it in the video and it bothers me. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, we will. Put some cloth on this thing in case we run into any baddies. Um, you can see right here. Oh, that's another thing. I I need to start my my garden. Uh, I I I want to have a garden on. I just don't know how I want to do it. How would I do a garden? I could put the garden on the deck, but I really don't want to make the. Oh, look at this. I really don't want to make the garden on the deck though. Uh, just because. What was that? Oh, here we go. Hold on. Well, no, don't relate it. Ow, damn it. Okay, I also switched the inventory thing to tab. And I think I'm going to start switching inventory to tab in all the games I play. I really, uh, ever since Seven Days to Die switched inventory to tab, I really like tab as an inventory option. You die now. Punk ass. That's what you get. Okay, can I get my stuff now, please? 
Actually, I probably should be careful how much of this stuff I take. You can only carry 10 meds. So, I should be very careful. If you I think if you take too much of something, the items might disappear. Really? There's more of you clowns? What else? Uh, he got lit on fire just by me walking into him. That's hilarious. Alright, let's get back some health and just get out of here. I got turned around. That Well, my base is that way, so I'm going to go this way. All right. Yeah, the garden. How do I want to do the garden? See, I don't want to I don't want to put the garden on the um I do not want to put the garden on the deck because I want to leave the deck open for stuff like a drying rack, rain catch, uh, a bench. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on the deck. Maybe I should put a deck in the back as well and make that a garden. The thing is, I don't know if the uh I don't know if that platform I built is big enough for a, a two decks. Um I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to have to think about that. I'll do that off camera, though. For sure. Uh, I could make a second story. And then put the... I could, make a, I could make a second story and then put the farm up top. Like, kind of like on the roof. That might work. Yeah, second story. Maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll make the first story storage and stuff like that. And the second story will be, like, my bedroom. And then I'll make a third story, which will be the roof. Possibly. It's actually very hard to make multiple stories in this game. So, you know, I don't know if I'm able to do that, but, you know, we'll see. Can I make... Man, where's all the cone flowers, dude? I feel like I've been kick, picking up cone flowers. But maybe it's been chicory. Yeah, we need to get the farm going right away. So either way, I'm going to make a farm that is not going to be on the roof because I can't wait for the roof to be built. You know, I mean, I need 180 logs just for the platform. That roof's not going to be built any, any you know, time soon. Um, so what I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to make the... I need the farm before then, so I will make the farm separate. Uh, somewhere else, like a kind of like a little bit of a, an early farm type thing. Uh, yeah, I need to figure out how I'm gonna make the how I'm gonna make the stairs up to the second story. That's really difficult. Building in this game is really hard. That's why I always put down the uh, I always put down the uh, the white blueprints off camera because I'm telling you it's a nightmare to deal with. It really is. Uh, I don't know if they plan on keeping it like that, but I, I hope not. I really hope not. I hope they plan on making it a little bit more user friendly. All right, where are we going? Actually, you know what? I might make the farm as soon as I get back. Now that I think about it, I really need one. Because I want those blueberry bushes, too, for food. Because I actually do not have a lot of food back at base. Okay, so we should be getting close. Somewhat close. It's kind of funny how, like, I kind of know this part. At least this part of the island. I know the southern part of the island pretty well. Well, kind of. <laughs> you know. It's a very confusing island. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Love me some blueberries. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. I'm gonna find this marigold. What the heck? Uh, we gotta be getting close. Maybe it's more up this way. I really need to put the marker down on this base when I find it. Yeah, that's chicory. So, like, I don't know where the uh, cone flowers are anymore. But, and, or the, uh, or the aloe vera, which is, well, the aloe vera is easy to overlook. So, I probably overlooked the aloe vera quite a bit. Okay, here we go. All right, let's put a marker down here. Another rock. Come on, where's the rocks? Where's the rocks, bro? Do you even rock, bro? I don't, I don't know. Uh, where are they? Probably walking past them. Happens a lot. There's one. Okay, and we'll leave that as a white flag. That's fine. And this is the uh, place you come to get all your good stuff. Basically dynamite. And I'll probably dynamite some trees. They've definitely nerfed dynamiting trees. You know, I kind of feel like in this game, uh, they are, they're making a lot of changes to the game. Uh, that... You know, put the game more towards a survival game and, and definitely make it more challenging. But I don't think they make it more fun. Like, I really had a good time dynam using dynamite to knock down trees. Was it too quick? Yes. Was it fun? Yeah. It's a video game. It's supposed to be fun, you know? But some people find the challenge fun. Like, they want to grind more. 
and they want like things to be slower, and that's what they call it. that's what they think of as fun. Yeah, I could get that. I mean, if you get everything right away, I could see how that's not fun for some people. And uh, honestly, if, if you get stuff too easily, it's not fun for me either. But I don't know. I just kind of feel like I don't know. Dynamiting, tr dynamite mining is freaking awesome. You know, it's not, it's not just like going into cheat mode and like grabbing whatever you want. It's nothing like that. So let us dynamite mine. It was fun. It was awesome. It was honestly one of the best parts of the game. But they want to make it a hardcore survival. I understand that. And that's cool. Um, but yeah, I, I really miss it. They don't drop. Oh yeah, they do. Never mind. I've got all my sodas. Well, most of my sodas. There we go. All right, so let's uh, now we gotta just gotta get a bunch of cloth and then GTFO. Oh god, I wish the axe was still here. I missed my axe. Uh, nope. Mm, what's up? Oh, there's marigold. Ha! <laughs> oh, some booze. Nice. Some people are saying in the comments that booze should help with your, uh, uh, with your sanity. And, like, I was like, yeah, booze help with your sanity. That makes sense, you know? And then, like, I got, like, I didn't get comments, but, like, people, uh, they were on my video, but, like, tons of people were commenting. Booze should not, booze would not help your sanity. It would make things worse. And, and people got into, like, this whole discussion on if booze would help with your sanity. <laughs> I find it funny what you guys talk about on the, uh, in the comment section. It makes me, it makes me chuckle. Um, yeah, and a lot of people are saying the sanity meter makes sense, and, you know, honestly, we, we all talk about, never mind, I thought I heard some, uh, a lot of the times people playing, you know, video gamers talk about killing people and how, like, you know, whatever, it wouldn't bother me, and I honestly think in this game, it wouldn't bother me, but then, you know, you're not in that situation, I mean, it probably would bother you, I guess, maybe, I don't know, if someone kidnapped my son, you know, and like they're they're hungry killer cannibals and they're trying to kill me. I don't think that that would bother me killing them. But then some people saying uh, the sanity meter is not really so much you going crazy. It's more of you losing your humanity. Um, so does killing people who kidnapped your does defending yourself killing people make you lose your humanity? I don't know. I'd have to say no. I'd have to say no. I mean, oh, let's get out of here. We've got enough stuff. Now I um. You know, I fully admit, I've never killed anyone, you know? And, uh... What the frig? Let's get out of here. Who stirred up the hornet's nest? Let's do this. The, the, you know, I've mentioned this before in my Let's Plays with this game, and I'm going to say it again here. The cannibals in this game piss me off like no other enemy ever has. Uh, maybe, like, old school games, you know, like NES games and stuff were worse, but... Like, modern gaming, like, the, I don't know what it is. These guys just make me so angry. I just want to slaughter their whole family, you know? I'm going to go down in the cave and kill uh, Uncle Mutey, uh, Uncle Mutey Arms McBob, and I'm going to slaughter the little mutant children because I hate them so effing much. And I, I don't really understand why. I really don't. They just, I don't know. They just piss me off. They make me want to kill them all. Like, I don't get it. But... I don't know, it's always been like that for this game. Like, the zombies in Seven Days to Die, I don't feel like that. Um, you know, the, the the raiders, when I used to play, um... Uh, when I used to play RimWorld, the people raiding me, I didn't feel like that. Uh, you know, what other games? Dude, seriously, where's the cone flowers? Have I just been passing them up? Uh, what other games? What other games? Uh, Imperion? The, you know, the aliens in Imperion? I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a testament to the game. And how... Come on, seriously. I think it's a testament to the game and how well this game is made that you hate them that much. I think that's a, uh, I think that's a triumph of game, desi game design to make me hate them that much because that means I really care. So, yeah, I gotta hate them. And uh, Vagina Chest and Uncle Armsy McBob are all gonna freaking die a bloody, horrible, burning death. And their babies, I'm going to chuck their babies against the wall head first. I hate those stupid mutant babies. They all jump at me and stuff, those little freaks. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them all. I'm getting fired up now. I'm going to get down there. I'm going to get my katana. And I'm going to go kill Bill on their ass. 
every time you every time you see me in the every time you see, every time like every time I see a mutant in the game, my face is gonna like you're, it's gonna be like a picture of my face with like a red tint on it, and you're gonna hear do 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 dun 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 dun, dun or however that freaking music went in Kill Bill. God, if I wasn't worried about copyright issue, every time I saw a mutant, I would edit in that music. I don't know if you guys have seen Kill Bill. You should. It's like one of the best movies ever made. Yeah. <laughs> Kill Bill. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. All right. So we need to make the farm, I, the garden. I don't want to make the garden in the way of anything. Um, this is pretty out of the way, I guess. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get this thing. We gotta get the farm started. Let's get the farm started. Who? 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 Man, I'm getting my I'm getting my music messed up. That was who let the dogs out. Uh alright, so Where's the damn farm? Alright, we're just gonna have to go th there it is. Okay. Well, these things are gonna be in the way no matter what. Ugh, I hate these damn leaves. Maybe we should make the farm over nah, let's just do it here. Who cares? We're really Concerning ourselves with stuff that doesn't matter. Well, I'm concerning myself with stuff that doesn't matter. And I think one more. All right, let's get some trees. So now that I switched the um, now that I switched the binding on the uh, <laughs> now that I switched the binding on the inventory button, like I'm I'm hitting I for the inventory, like I'm you know it's the forest. I'm hitting I for the inventory, so pretty funny. This axe isn't too bad for cutting down trees, honestly. You know, the hell, swing boy, What's the matter with you. They're not falling on anything. For those of you new to this game, if a tree falls on your buildings, it will destroy them. So be careful. All right, plant. Look at all the birds. Okay. And we just need one more log, so let's grab the log sled. And uh, it's starting to get a little dark here. I I'd like to get these farms going tonight, though. So let's uh, let's get one more tree cut down, and then uh, yeah, that'll be good. So there's gonna be a lot of building over the next few episodes, guys. Be be prepared, and um, let me know in the comments. Do you like the do you like the time lapses or not? Um, I know you guys don't think I read your comments, but I do. Although sometimes I do forget what you say, so I apologize. But, um, yeah, don't forget to, don't forget to let me know if you, if you like the time lapses or not. Because I could do quite a few over the next, you know, couple videos. Okay. There we go. You see how, like, the, the, the... The bushes and stuff are just like those uh, bushes or stuff are in the way. It's like, oh, I hate them. I hate them. No, I only need one. There we go. And E. Okay, we are all planted. Let's uh, let's get some light here because we are going to work uh, through a little bit of the night because we've still got a few minutes left on this video. So. Uh, there's one over here. Come on. Oh, you guys told me to use the skull lamps uh, in my base. And uh, the, the reason I didn't use the skull lamps last time is because they don't give an awful lot of light. But the thing is, inside of a base and on platforms, they give off enough light. You're right. And uh, you got to use them. You don't have to use them, but you should. Because these would, you know, if you put these things on there, you'd burn down your house. You know, these uh, standing torches. So, you are right. You are right. And I will start using them. Wasn't there one out here somewhere? I think. Uh, it's pretty good. I thought I thought I put one over here somewhere, but I don't see it now. It's one over here. Yeah, we can't build anymore. I'm not gonna look for stones in the dark. So there we go. It's gonna be pretty sweet if I can get this log sled across there. This might be a little dark for you guys. I apologize if if so. 
But uh, not much I could really do about it. I'm going to put this right here. I will cut down the tree with my lighter just because, you know, I do want some light. Now, whenever you, whenever you cut down anything, if you swing anything with one hand, you're automatically doing less damage. Just so you know. Just remember that. But uh, I wouldn't normally do this, but because um, I want you guys to be able to see, I will. Come on, you damn tree. Really hope you guys are okay with the time lapses, because if you guys aren't, then I'm going to have to cut out a lot of this tree cutting. And I mean, I guess that's not too big of a deal, but... You know. I don't know. I kind of like the time lapses because it gives you an idea of the farming, but it doesn't make you sit through all of it like I have to. Cut that down because it's poisonous. I don't see any more logs. So we'll cut down one. One more tree. Somebody said there's a there's a cave or an entrance or something near here. You know, there's caves and entrances everywhere. There's there's cannibal camps everywhere. I'm not going to I'm not going to not build in a cool location just because there's, you know, something nearby. I'm not really worried about it. You know, if they're going to come, they're going to come. Uh, now I've got a way to at least get out of here if they do come if I, you know, want to run. I can. It's an option. Okay, so we'll carry these two over here. Jesus Christ. I keep thinking I see like motions out in the uh, out in the, the forest. One thing that this game does extremely well, better than any other game I've ever played, is it has foliage moving out like out in the forest that makes it look like there's cannibals out there. And by the way, I just saw some cannibals for sure. Um, but anyway, a lot of times I see like foliage or something moving and it looks like a cannibal. And that's that's great. That's great game design. Yep, here they are. Whatever, guys. What are you going to do? What are you going to do down there? Um, we need some rope. I want to make a bow. There's not much I can do. Oh, Jesus. Let's put this stuff on the drying rack before it goes bad. The problem is if I go to the drying rack, they might attack me. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come in. Now how we get back up there? What we do is we come in the water. I don't think these guys come in the water, although I could be wrong. But what you do is you come in the water, and I know you can't really see here, but I'm I'm on this little like platform that was here before I like that was here before I got here. And you climb up here, and then I can jump down from here, or I could just stay up here. Although I can't save or pass the night, and that is a problem. But if I want to get down there, um, I could just jump down there. Now, if I make, if I make a, uh, hold on, if I make one of these temporary shelters, can I destroy it? Because I've tried to destroy temporary shelters recently, and they don't seem to be, de they don't seem to be able to be destroyed. Um, if they can de be destroyed, I will build a temporary shelter up here, and then be able to pass the night in in perfect safety. If not, then I have to wait for them. To go away. Ooh, excuse me. Yawned. Ah, he just lit himself on fire. What a jerk. You know what? We're going to dance with these guys. Punk asses. Got 51 cloths, so that's good. Okay. Let's just come on up here, see if we're clear. I'm um, getting ready to call it a video, but... I want to make sure we're clear first so I can save the game. Yeah, it looks okay. I'll tell you what, I'll save it on video so uh, you can see if anything interesting happens. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can make this jump now. Ah! Nope. It's okay. We got to where we needed to. Save. Alright. And let's just pass the night too, so 
you guys don't miss anything if anything interesting happens. Nope, we're good. All right, guys. Uh, so that is going to do it for episode two, and we'll see you next time for episode three. Till then, take it easy.